We have discussed the Wash Alliance International. We have discussed our country plans from our country alliances. Um, but what about the future of the people we are working with? What about the future of our current program, of our current facilities? How great would it be if you, uh, the people that have access to Wash Now, how great would it be if you know for sure that they will also still have access and use their facilities in the future? This is about the sustainability monitoring framework. Uh, we talk a lot about FEEDS, FEEDS sustainability. It's also in our guiding principles. We work according to FEEDS. We've also heard it in your pictures. You were all talking about FEEDS. But what exactly does this mean? What exactly is sustainability? I think some words might come up. It's about long lasting, it's about future, it's about no subsidies. We all know that that's related to sustainability. But what exactly is sustainability? And I think we all know that the difficulty is, how can we measure it now? Because we can measure it in some years. Then we can look back and see, are the programs sustainable? Do the people that we have served some years ago still use their wash facilities? Do they still wash their hands? All these kind of things. So what we need, because we can only measure it in the future. But then, of course, there's no money anymore, because the program has already ended. There's no money for measuring. And also, if it turns out not to be sustainable, we cannot adjust our program anymore. So what we need is a tool or a framework that can help us now to increase the sustainability of our programs. So that's this tool about. The sustainability monitoring framework has been developed by uh, IRC and the Dutch Budget Alliance. And it's developed to measure the likelihood of our program to be sustainable. Uh, there has already been there have already been some pilot studies in Ghana, in Uganda, and in Kenya. And there's two quotes here. The SMF is to unpack the complexity of sustainability. And last January, I was in Kenya, and there one of the partners he told me, "We are working with feeds already for many years, but now we really understand what it is." So that is the sustainability monitor framework. The next one, please. <laughs> oh, oh <laughs> you're moving, you're moving elements in there. Probably. I didn't include. Ah, <laughs> and one, I think one more, because there's a part missing. Yeah, perfect. So the SMF is designed mainly to get a common understanding about sustainability, to to be in dialogue, to discuss together what is it that makes our program sustainable. Um, <coughs> So it impacts the com complexity and it helps to understand the sustainability. A part of it is the sustainability index. This is what, it makes, what makes it very concrete. There's questions in it. Uh, the questions together provide a, a result, a number, and this number can be used to see how likely your program is to be sustainable. Uh, it can also be used to point towards issues that need to be addressed to improve your future sustainability. <coughs> Within the sustainability monitoring framework, there's three dimensions, as you can see in the figure. It's about the sustainability dimensions, financial, institutional, environmental, technical, and social. It's about our topics, water, sanitation, hygiene, but you can even use it for other topics. And it's about three administrating levels, the consumer, the operational level, and the government level. Uh, at all these levels, at all these dimensions, you can calculate a score. And by com com comparing these, you can see on which dimensions am I very likely to be sustainable, and which dimensions might need a little bit more attention to increase the likelihood of being sustainable. So during the program, you can use it in the beginning. Because it makes you thinking about what should I address in order to make, it, well, to make the program likely to be sustainable in the future. <coughs> you can monitor your program every two years or every three years, and then you can combine the numbers, and then you can see, or you can compare it, and then you can see, am I improving? Which dimension is lagging behind? So you can also guide your program to be more sustainable in the end. So using the sustainability monitoring framework will increase the knowledge of our partners on feed sustainability. 
by using this dialogue. It will also create a mind shift. Partners are going to look in a more long-term way. What can we do now to make it likely to also work in the future? And finally, I am confident that by monitoring the likelihood of our programs being sustainable, it will also increase the sustainability <coughs> of our programs. And I think that's also something future donors will really appreciate it. And in this way, we are looking into the future again. Thank you.